The Harbinger is a 2022 supernatural horror movie. Written and directed by Andy Mitten, it stars Gabby Beans, Emily Davis, and Raymond Anthony Thomas. The story's about Monique, who ventures out of quarantine to visit an old friend who's being plagued by nightmares. There, she finds herself drawn into a hellish dreamscape where she must face her greatest fears or risk never having existed at all. You have no family. You were never born. Just like you always wanted. So I've heard about this movie for quite a while now. There was definitely a buzz about it, but I just have so many things on my plate, it's hard for me to get to all the movies that I'd like to. But at the end of 22, when I put out my best of video, a bunch of you guys mentioned, hey, you missed Harbinger. That's a movie you really need to see. That's definitely one of the best of 2022. And as much as I believed you guys, it wasn't that I didn't believe you, I'd just been swamped. There's just been constantly something to review. But I finally saw that it dropped on Tubi, and so I started working on a Tubi list, and I was like, you know what? This movie is incredible. This movie really needs to be talked about more because it drives me absolutely crazy that movies like Blood and Honey, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, or movies like the most recent Children of the Corn that I just reviewed, movies like that get theatrical releases and get at least a little bit of promotion, whereas movies like this completely fall through the cracks. No one talks about them. There's no promotions whatsoever, no commercials, nothing. Like the only reason I knew of this movie at all is because some people I, I listened to podcasts of and different things here and there talked about that it was really, really good at the film festivals. And then on top of that, you guys, like I said, mentioning it when I dropped my video. But as far as promotions, I didn't hear anything. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen anything whatsoever about this movie. And so I felt like, you know what? I have to cover this. I have to do a review. I have to do my part because this movie is so well done. Movies like this and Sick are movies that show how to make a movie during the pandemic, how to use it and take what it had and, and not to make a gimmick from it, but actually take the fears and the uncomfortability and things that we were all going through and put it into a way that is terrifying. And this movie does that so, so well. It is creepy, disturbing, uncomfortable, and just very foreboding and dark. And it does have a little bit of message. It does have some things to say, but I didn't feel like it was over preachy or over heavy whatsoever, but instead just reminded me of what it was like when the pandemic first started. But beyond that, really took me into my fears and the things that I don't know about you, but at least that I really felt strongly at the beginning of the pandemic, that feeling of the unknown, of having no idea what was gonna come. But they took it and made it into this really interesting movie. And I'm trying to not give it away because there's a lot of twists and turns and surprises along the way with this movie. But in some ways, it reminded me of Smile. And I couldn't help but think with all the buzz over Smile and how big of a deal that was last year, that if this movie had had a theatrical release, I can only imagine how well it would have done because it does have a little bit of that mystery and that discovering and trying to figure out this supernatural type of, of thing that's going on and, and what does it mean and what's it after and is it even exist or is this in our heads? And there's just so many fun avenues that this movie goes down and explores. But I just love how dark and haunting and absolutely creepy this movie gets. And I'll try not to spoil this, but this is kind of set in the synopsis. But the idea of not only dying, but actually ceasing to exist, like you never existed at all, is terrifying to just think of the ramifications of that and like that you had no impact, that your life was gone, that you just literally disappear. And the way they explore that and what that means and how that happens and, and is it really happening? Just so many different questions that this movie asks. I don't want to spoil anything, but but that's one of the key elements of the, the terrifying nature that this movie has. And I felt like it was very unique the way that it explored that and the way that it dealt with that. Because it's one thing to be afraid of dying, but to me that's a whole nether level, a whole different idea in general. This movie is wonderfully directed and the cast do a great job, especially considering it was shot during the pandemic and you could definitely tell, and there's really only a few of them, but they absolutely carry this movie. And even though it is mostly a dialogue movie, you don't even realize that because it's so well performed and the things that you do see, it never feels slow. It never feels like you're just watching a drama dialogue type of movie. It feels very horror and creepy and disturbing. 
So I just had to pop in here real quick and let you guys know about this movie. Like I said, it is streaming right now on Tubi for free, so there's no reason you can't check it out. But I think it's definitely one that's worth your time. And I really hope that some more people get on it and start talking about this movie because the filmmakers and everybody involved really put passion and time and energy into this. And I feel like they did a really, really good job. And it's really a shame that it's fallen through the cracks. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell because that's the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week, I also want to give a huge, massive thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys mean so, so, so much to me. And if you would like to find out how you can become a part of the Ghost Pirate crew over on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Or if you want to find out how you can become a channel member over here, there's a little button down there that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button button and remember guys horror can be fun if you enjoyed this click right here to watch my children of the corn 2023 review and i'll see you guys next time